I love children when they're well behaved. When they're not well behaved, I don't so much blame it on them as I blame it on their upbringing. So I'm, I'm, being, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, this is uh, my assumptions video, and if you don't know what that is, uh, I've seen several YouTubers do assumption videos, and what they do is they ask uh, on social media, what do you assume about me that you may not know? So I did the same thing. I got a lot of responses, so in this video I'm going to read your all's comments and answer you honestly <laughs> about what you commented. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be looking down some because I'm looking at my iPad. I've got all the, you know, the comments on here. So, okay. First person, Cindy Bailey. She said that you find the good in every situation. Yes. I try to anyway, <laughs> for the most part. Um, and I cannot pronounce your name. Bots Mish? I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, she said that I'm easy go lucky. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I just kind of, I have the kind of philosophy that my dad had. It is what it is. If there's something that's worrying you or bothering you, you need to try to not, you know, think about it so much. I know it's hard to do that, but it is what it is. You know, if you can't do anything about it, then <laughs> there's no sense in worrying about it. So, yeah, family is important from uh, Lynn Kennedy. Yes, my family is very important to me. Um, Kimberly King, hmm, let's see, I assume that you have boundless energy and that you have natural creative talents and because the thrifting angels around surround you, I think you have a loving and caring soul and your heart has always been filled with gratitude. That is very true. Um, creative talents, I do have a few, um, I do have a creative side to me, so, you know, I like to make things, uh, I like to crochet, I like to... You know, of course, I did. I loved making wreaths, but they don't sell, and you can only make so many, and then you're overrun with wreaths. <laughs> my stepmom said this. She said, not an assumption as much as a fact. You make my heart smile when you give me one of your hugs. She's so sweet. She is so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is from my stepsister, Tracy Bell. You are a very talented, beautiful, and kind-hearted woman. Thank you, Tracy. I really appreciate that. Uh, Charlie Greenwell Jr., you are the motherly type, nurturing, love children, and like to make something out of nothing. What I mean by that is transforming things, weaving, knitting, crafts, cooking, etc. Yes, I'm a very crafty person. I do like to cook. I don't have a lot of time to do it, but I do like to cook. Um, I like to bake more so than cook. Uh, motherly type, nurturing, and love children. <laughs> um... Somewhat. I love children when they're well behaved. When they're not well behaved, I don't so much blame it on them as I blame it on their upbringing. So I'm, I'm, being, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Carolyn Denise Teeter Klein, you are very sweet and talented. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. Uh, <laughs> this is from Judy, my mall owner. That you love your vendors mall and you think the owners are awesome. LOL. <laughs> Yes, I love my vendor mall, and yes, I do think the owners are awesome. Um, Wanda Allman, thrifting and selling is important, but not as important as family. That's very, very, very true. The most important thing, not the most important thing, second most important thing is family. First most, most important thing is God. Brenda Straley, I assume if you came to my yard sale looking like my sister and did your cute, contagious laugh that I'd give you everything for free. <laughs> LOL, that's more of an assumption about me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so funny. I love to laugh. You all know that. <laughs> uh, and then she also uh, left another comment. Another of my assumptions about you is you always liked decorating your room as a child and kept your room clean. You might have played in muddy puddles and climbed trees, but your room was always clean. I read this comment to my mom and she was like, um, no, that assumption isn't true. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Yes, when I was little, I was kind of a tomboy. I loved to, like she said, play in muddy puddles and climb trees. I actually climbed a tree one time 
uh, when we lived, we used to live in Corbin, Kentucky when I was younger. We lived there for about four or five years. And while I was there, I climbed a tree and I fell out of that tree. I stepped on a branch that was dead. And I fell out of that tree probably about 15 or 20 feet. Didn't break anything, but sprained my ankle, so. Jean Cody, my assumption about you is you are happy almost all the time. That is true. Uh, your family means everything to you, and you would go from being happy mother to a bear if anyone tried to harm your loved ones. That's also true. Uh, you love life and are happy in your own skin. You enjoy learning and don't mind admitting when you've made a mistake. That's also true. If I make a mistake, I own up to it. Um, you take tremendous joy in all you do and very rarely have a bad day. That's true. You are honest to a fault. That's I'm about as honest as they come. Uh, you are selfless and are always there for your family and friends because you have such enthusiasm for life. Everywhere you go, people want to talk to you. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm getting more comfortable making YouTube videos and talking to you guys. Of course, you're not right here in front of me. When I'm out, um, I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to, to, you know, go up and meet people. But once I meet somebody... You can't shut me up. <laughs> uh, Patricia Hager. Now, this is the lady that I clean for. She said, I've known you all my life. You are a great gal with a great heart and a light in my world. You're so sweet, Pat. Thank you. Uh, this is my sister. <laughs> Dawn, I can't believe she put this on there. The cutest little Studebake in town, loaded with talents and full of love. Okay, so if you all do not know what Studebake is, that is a nickname that my sisters used to call me when I was real little. And I won't go into, well, they used to tickle me when I was little. And every time they would tickle me, they would say, stew, stew, stew. And then it kind of evolved into Studebake. And then they just, that was kind of a nickname that they called me when I was little. So, <laughs> um, Linda Crumweed, Crumweed, Crumweed. I'm sorry, I I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I assume you would be a fun person to thrift and hang out with. I would hope so. I hope people would love to hang out with me and thrift with me. <laughs> uh, Terry Weech, you are sweet and genuine in real life as you appear on camera. Well, I, I, I hope to think so. <laughs> you are very compassionate about what you do, and that is quality. That is a quality that makes you such a success. Thank you very much. Yes, I am very uh, compassionate. I'm very passionate about what I do, and I am a very compassionate person. Um, as far as your laugh, it's part of your charm. Can't imagine why people complained about it. They're watching you, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Christy says, I assume you will be selling me vintage tablecloths soon. <laughs> yes, I do have some vintage tablecloths. Uh, I just haven't, I haven't had a chance to get around to them yet. But, yes, they are coming, and I'll definitely message you and show you pictures. <laughs> um... Now, these are from Instagram, so it's kind of hard for me to remember some names. Um, I believe this is Adeline. Uh, you have an inner strength and see the positive in life. Yes, I try to. I try to. Paris's Addict says that you have a good recipe for skunk deodorizing. <laughs> and she probably says that because I worked at a vet clinic for nine years. But, yes, I do have some good recipes for skunk deodorizing. <laughs> um, Nicole over at Nesting Haven, uh, she says you are a great cook. Um, I like to think that I am. I don't, like I said earlier, I don't cook a lot, um, but I do enjoy more so baking than cooking. I do have a couple of really good recipes that, well, one recipe that I have, it's called connoisseur casserole. And every single holiday, that's what I bring. That's what I make because everybody just loves it and they call me and say, this is what you're bringing. And really, they don't even have to call because I know that's what I'm bringing. <laughs> Okay, this is my brother. Um, Eric says, I assume you need to make a trip to Louisiana. <laughs> yes, I, I need to go back to Louisiana and see him. I don't get to see him very often, maybe once or twice a year. Um, but, yes, I would love to go back to Louisiana. Actually, what I would love to do is I would love to go back down there and right in that general area, um, in the Louisiana and Texas area. I would love to go down there and see some other of my uh, thrifting fellow thrifters that uh, I watch on YouTube. I'd like to go see Tanya and um, Tanya and Lonnie and um, 
yeah, a bunch of them. <laughs> so, yes, I do need to make a trip to Louisiana. Uh, Tanya says you have a green thumb. I kind of, yeah, I have plants in my house and I love taking care of my plants. I like exotic plants. Um, but yeah, I, I, well, yeah, I, I kind of have a green thumb. I don't really like to do a lot of stuff as like planting in the yard, but I do like to plant flowers in the spring and, uh, you know, enjoy picking out the different ones and making, you know, containers with different kinds of things in it. That's the crafty part coming out in me. <laughs> um, Kathleen says you have a pleasant demeanor. I like to think so. <laughs> uh, Vintage Vinny, you are a fun-loving person to be around. Um, I guess. I, I Yeah. <laughs> I like to laugh. As you all can see, I've laughed pretty much through this whole video. <laughs> Um, Catherine, which is my brother's wife, uh, agree with Eric. We could garage sale here together. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'd love to do that. Miss Sugarbaker, I assume you're fun-loving by your easy giggles, laughter, and that you were into Cindy Lauper in the 80s. You're the life of the party with friends, and people love to gather at your house, young and old. Um, when I was younger, my husband and I did a lot of entertaining. Uh, we don't do so much anymore. It's it, Times have changed, and people just are are so busy that they don't do get-togethers and parties but when when I was younger yes I love to entertain um, let's see here I did grow up in the 80s and I loved Cindy Lauper so yep you assumed right uh, Cindy Lauper of course Madonna before she got to be a freak um, and let's see all those 80s big hair bands and you know if you guys grew up in the 80s you know what I'm talking about uh, let's see, Janet Peterson, I assume you belong to BBN. That is right. I am part of the Big Blue Nation. <laughs> um, Kim Daniels, I agree with everyone, which covers all bases. You're a wonderful person. I enjoy all your videos and, of course, your giggle. Thank you. Okay, let's see, Carla VS, I assume you would be a wonderful friend to have. That's very nice. <laughs> I, w I hope. <laughs> I actually, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of close, close friends. I have one very close friend <clears throat> that her and I, if we, you know, didn't talk to each other for four or five months and we called or whatever, we would pick right back up to where we left off. And she's been a, a friend of mine for a very long time and I love her to death. Um... I think you're one of the sweetest, oh see this is my mom, my other mom, my biological mom. I think you are one of the sweetest person I, I ever watched on video. I enjoy your videos so much. Keep up the good work. Thanks mom. You're so sweet. I love you. Um, I assume, let's see, Tracy Clemens, I assume you are a good and kind woman. Thank you Tracy. I hope to think so. <laughs> uh, William Kimmer, that you are a kind and happy lady. Thank you. I've had a lot of the, sorry, there's a truck going by. Had a lot of the same comments. You know, you guys are just, you guys are so sweet <laughs> to assume these things about me. And, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that they're all true. <laughs> um, I assume that you're kind of proper, almost, uh, see, mostly ladylike and church going. Um, no, not really. Not really. I'm a Christian and I believe in God. Um, but my husband and I have not found a church. Uh, we looked for one for a little while and, and couldn't find one, so we, we kind of stopped looking, but um, hopefully we can pick back up on that. That question before was from Don Maserati. <laughs> uh, Pamela Flores says, your love, your family, and fun to hang out with. Oh, you love your family and fun to hang out with. Yes, I do love my family. Whether they think I'm fun to hang out with or not, I hope so. <laughs> Okay, Sherry Turner, I assume that anybody would be rich to have you as a friend. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, RT says, I never assume anything. It's a slippery slope downwards. Well, I don't think this has been a slippery slope. <laughs> um, and then Pam Lederman said, what Sherry said. <laughs> uh, Cindy McCoy, she just gave me a green heart. And Kim Johnson, I assume that you are honest and respectable person and living your best life. Um, yes, I'm very honest. Um, you know, I give respect. Hopefully that I, hopefully I get respect because I do give it. Um, and living my best life. Yeah, right now I'm having the best time in my life. I mean, my life has been great. I've had a wonderful life and, 
this is just another journey in my life and I'm having a blast. I'm having a ball making YouTube videos for you guys and you know thrifting and owning an antique booth. Uh, yeah, I'm having a great time doing this. Um, let's see, Deb's treasures. You are always laughing, which makes you a happy person. Yeah, I'm laughing all the time. I guess you all can see that in this video. <laughs> um, let's see, Tracy Sykes, that you are a fiercely loyal friend. Yes. You would go to battle to protect what you know to be true about your close friends and family. Yes, that's exactly right. Good assumption. <laughs> uh, Julie Shanklin, you are upbeat and don't let things get you down. At least not often. You are kind to all and have a close relationship with friends and family. Yes, and I am. I do try to be upbeat. You know, I have days where I'm not, but I do try to be upbeat. Uh, TCR, I assume you are a very thoughtful person. I try to be. <laughs> uh, Kim Julius, you giggle, laugh when you're nervous. Yes. If you were trying to make YouTube videos and you were nervous about speaking in front of people, which there's not people, but I know there's people out there, you guys. And yeah, sometimes I get nervous. So sometimes laughter is, is nervousness. <laughs> but most of the time it's not. Most of the time that's just how I am. Um... Let's be happy thrifter. I assume you are a honest, hardworking person who loves her family, enjoys thrifting, and likes sharing those finds with others. Yes. Yep, that is very true. That is very true. That was so much fun. I loved reading your guys' comments and thinking about them and thinking about what I was going to say. Um, this was a such a fun video, and thank you guys so much for participating. I know this is a little bit different than my normal haul videos and ride-alongs and stuff about my antique booth. Uh, but this was a lot of fun to do. So, if, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like reselling content, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!